This is a somewhat familiar situation for me where a wedding client asks for like a mashup of a few songs for a special moment throughout the evening or they want to shorten a song for their first dance but wants like different pieces and parts all mashed together. So I thought I would just go over this with you guys together. So I got this request from a client that's somewhat complicated, but I'm gonna show how easy this is to mash up in DJ Studio. Okay, so I have DJ Studio open. Let's create a new mashup. Kind of gives us like a open canvas to edit our songs. Okay, let's go ahead and import it in. Let's import it in. Okay. So basically we're breaking this up into four parts. So first up, let's partition our parts. They asked for us to start at 10. So we'll split it right here. Split. You can also press Control E. So 42. And right here you can kind of see where the time marker is in addition to here. Okay. Control E. Split. Here's our first part. Second part is 104. So right before here. I'm just going to delete that so I can remember. To 124. Again, look right there for where that begins. And if we need to have a little bit more for a smooth transition, we can definitely extend this with these later on. Okay, and then 146. You can see that's right where a drop is about to begin. To 213. 146 to 213. And then the fourth part. So 336 to 4. Okay, and now it is time to combine it all together. And we'll stagger it like this so that we can work on those transitions and bring in a little bit more if we need to. So I think we're just going to do the classic crossfade. So you can select multiple tracks by pressing that on shift and then dragging. I don't think I need to do that. So clicking on this little icon right here, we'll just kind of fade them into each other a bit. Maybe have a little bit of a crossfade. Okay. Now that I've extended these tracks so that they overlap with each other, I'm going to select the part I want it to start fading. I'm going to control the volume a bit and you can select a portion just by like dragging and highlighting a por portion of the track. So now I see that I have this volume line it has a dot right here. So it's doing the entire section. But if I click again, then I can have it apply to just this section. So I'm going to bring the volume back up to zero dB. I'm going to adjust it right here. Oh, okay. And then I and now I'll just bring this part here. So. So the volume is at zero dB and it goes all the way down to nothing as that comes in. Let's take a listen. Beautiful. Okay. Now let's do this next part. That's actually not too bad as is. But we want this part to definitely not be heard. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that volume down so I can see this line. I'll bring it back up to zero. Okay, and so I clicked on the line right there. And then I'll bring this dot all the way down to zero. So let's bring that in a little bit sooner. So this vocal part right here won't be heard. Still looking up. Okay, let's bring it in though. It feels a little off. So again, bring that down a little bit so that volume line is visible. Now that it's visible, I'll put a dot right here for where I want it to be at zero and I'll bring in down this dot from nothing. Okay, right when that vocal part comes, it needs to already be at zero. So let's try this. Okay, I think there's one last part. So this is a phrase before it gets like into that pre-chorus. So the section she gave me needs to be adjusted a bit for that like idea, that musical phrase to be completed. Like do, 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 do. Or it just needs to, that part needs to be cut off and right at the end of the chorus it needs to go into this ending part no, I won't give up. so it needs to like end there One, two, three. 
Okay, right there is when it needs to go. But he's doing like a leading vocal part, so we need to cut that off. So I'm gonna select this part. I'm going to not copy melody, show stems. Splitting audio, it's gonna take a sec. Come on, split the audio. Yeah, this computer is about toast. I already bought a replacement computer like a few months ago, so I really need to just copy everything over. It's such a chore to swap computers, so I just need to make the change. This computer's just too slow. Just too slow. Okay, here we go. So here is the vocals, so mute the vocals. And then now the timing should be right, and it should sound good. Let's take a listen. One, two. That's pretty good. So I can see the volume here because I already adjusted this clip. I want the volume to go to zero. Whoops. I'm gonna just move this out of the way. I want my volume to go down to, oops. I want my volume changed to start here. And I want it to go to zero. Maybe I want it to even go to zero before. All right, let me just click on it again for a new dot. Let's have it go to zero like there. And let's, I wanna make sure that my vocal stems are off. So now let's take a listen. Okay, <laughs> he breathed in right there. There we go, let's try that on. All right, I don't want the volume to go to zero till there. I mean, it could probably just be a steep drop off right there. In fact, I probably could have just cut this clip. It doesn't need to be overlapping so much. There we go. Clean. All right, that's the song. I'm going to save it in case they're like, hey, can you make some adjustments? So I don't have to redo all that work. Okay, let's save it. All right, here's our four parts of the song, and then here are our transitions. And I'll probably put the final edit at the very end. But yeah, let's export this thing. Let's just use the defaults. Yeah, I'm probably going to get copyrighted on this, but that's okay. You guys are worth it. Okay, and now let's send this to our client and see what they say. First dance is husband and wife. When I look into your eyes, it's like watching the night sky. All the beautiful sun. There's so much they hold I won't give up on us Even if the skies get rough I'm giving you all my love I'm still looking up Well, there you have it. That is how you do a custom wedding edit in DJ Studio. I hope you found this helpful. Um, a lot of these same principles apply if you use a different DAW. DJ Studio is pretty nice. It's geared specifically towards DJs, and it makes it nice if you have different songs of, of different tempos, different beats per minute. And so if you want to know a little bit more about DJ Studio, I made a full review and I'll link that down below. And please smash like and subscribe. And DJ Studio has a special offer for my viewers. And I will link that down below so that you can pick up this for yourself. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. Goodbye.